Gentlemen, let's tackle a question I hear often. Can masturbation cause erectile dysfunction? Many men worry that if they go too often, they might end up with ED. But the truth is more nuanced. What most men mistake for erectile dysfunction is something else entirely, the natural recovery cycle of your body. And if you understand this cycle, you can time your performance with precision and avoid unnecessary frustration. So let me introduce you to a simple formula, 20, 20, 90. These numbers represent the way your body's recovery period, known as the refractory period, changes with age. Once you know them, you'll see that what feels like dysfunction is often just biology doing its job. I'm Dr. Emma Blake, urologist and men's health expert. And today, I'm going to walk you through what this means, why it matters, and how you can use this knowledge to protect both your erections and your confidence. First, let's define the refractory period. After orgasm and ejaculation, your erection is lost. This is completely normal. It happens because dopamine drops, prolactin rises, and your nervous system shifts into recovery mode. It's not erectile dysfunction, it's your body's way of recharging. Most men experience it, and it lengthens naturally as you age. In your 20s, recovery might take as little as 20 minutes. By your 70s, it can take several days. And if you're fortunate enough to reach your 90s, recovery might stretch to 20 days. That's the pattern. 20 minutes at 20, up to 20 days at 90. Same numbers, very different game. This is why many men believe masturbation is causing erectile dysfunction. They notice it takes longer to regain an erection as they get older, and they confuse this natural recovery time with a problem. But it's not ED. It's simply the refractory period stretching with age. Think of it like horse racing. A young stallion can race more often, but the older the horse, the longer the recovery between races. It's not that the horse is broken. It just can't perform at the same pace it did in youth. Your body works the same way. So how often should you masturbate? The data suggests that if you go beyond your body's recovery window, you'll notice weaker erections and lower performance. Not because something is wrong, but because you're not giving your system time to reset. It's overuse, not dysfunction. Now here's where lifestyle comes in. Can you shorten the refractory period? You can't erase it, but you can support your body to recover faster. Sleep is one of the biggest factors. Deep restorative sleep builds testosterone, balances your nervous system, and fuels muscle mass, all of which help erections stay strong. Exercise, nutrition, and managing stress all matter too. Some men are tempted to reach for quick pharmaceutical fixes. While medications like Viagra and Cialis can override the body temporarily, using them recreationally is not the answer. The smarter strategy is to work with your body, not against it. Building health through better circulation, balanced hormones, and consistent recovery. So, can masturbation cause erectile dysfunction? No, but excessive frequency without respecting your body's natural recovery time can mimic the symptoms understand the numbers, respect the cycle, and support your health with sleep, exercise, and smart choices. And for men who want to go one step further, there are natural supplements that can help. Two that I recommend most often are organic watermelon extract, rich in L-citrulline to boost nitric oxide and circulation for stronger, longer lasting erections an advanced performance formula that combines Icarian, Tonkat Ali, fenugreek, nettle root, and citrulline, designed to support every aspect of male health, from erections and stamina to testosterone and prostate support. Stay consistent with healthy practices, fuel your body with the right support, and you'll be amazed at how quickly your confidence and vitality can return. I'm Dr. Emma Blake, See you in the next video.